tutorial starts with a song, <laughs> but it's only a few seconds long. <laughs> Let's get started with animation. Hello friends, what does this have to do with this? Well, quite a lot. Because this graph is the whole machine which creates this image consisting of cubes. Okay, let us start with a new scene. Obviously you can use any kind of shape. Uh, right mouse click here, super whatever, and here under poly super shape I press random. Actually I don't like that spherical harmonics thing. Let's go to super lips like this. Okay, this is the beginning of our Bifrost graph. It's the one of the inputs. Uh, and uh, we go to Windows. Here is the Bifrost graph editor and we create a new graph. We can throw the input away because we have our input here and with a middle mouse, an important middle mouse button, you drag the super shape into this field. So we have an input which is that geometry and we have an output which is, well, putting <laughs> things on the screen. We haven't connected anything yet so we need to connect something now. Uh, the central node for scattering points on a surface, like on that super, super shape, is called scatter. So scatter, we have scatter points, scatter points in gaps and scatter points legacy. Uh, this is probably interesting as well, I haven't tried it out. And um, here you see my previous uh, commands which I used and I did use the scatter points. So let's use the scatter point, points here. Um, you see that we have an amount of uh, 1000 and a maximum number of, uh, is that 1 million or 10 million? Uh, we get to the million thing at the end of this tutorial anyway. Okay, this wants geometry and this is geometry. Blue goes into blue. This is just perfect. Now, um, when we connect this to the output, uh, what do we see? We see lots of points here, exactly 1000 points on our surface. And we can hide it and well, when we go to black as a background we see these points which is already quite nice. Let's open this again and instead of 1000 let's use 10,000. We have a denser network of points. Now we want to visualize these points rather than, I guess we cannot render them. Let me try it out, sky dome light and I render this scene. Yeah, there's nothing to be seen here. Um, delete that light again. We want to convert these dots into actually geometry. And I use uh, this box for it and I scale it down drastically so we can distribute many, many, many of these cubes on that surface. Now how do I achieve this? Well, I go back to my Bifrost graph and I need, first of all, this cube with the middle mouse button in here. And uh, where do I plug it in? I need something which instances something. So I press tab again and I use the set instance geometry. Um, if you want to search for it, type in instance and you have different options. Arnold Olympic instance for example, which is quite interesting too. All, all of these things are really interesting. Set instance geometry. We want to set the cubes as the instance geometry. Where is it? Set instance geometry. This is what we need. And you see that uh, we can now feed the mesh into the instance geometry. Instance just means duplicates, which are not real duplicates, but replications of the same thing. It's, uh, it's called an instance. And actually I did a couple of tutorials about the mesh network, that's M-A-S-H, uh, where I use this technology 
but without the visual programming language, which was not available at that time anyway. So now we have connected our cube to this instance geometry node, which doesn't give us anything about the points. But uh, we need points here, so we connect this. And since we want to see the instances, we connect this out here. What is happening now? We see lots and lots of cubes. We need to scale the cube down like this. And uh, the question is, well, at least I had that question. Now we can render it, by the way. Um, Arnold Light, Sky Dome Light and Render. I wanted to say that we can now create many more. Go back to the Bifrost graph, select the scatter by number and raise this amount to 1 million, from 10,000 to 1 million. So we need to add two zeros here. One <laughs> exponential six, that's, that's perfectly all right. Now this super shape looks like a super shape because it's made of cubes which are well we have exactly one million and when we render this scene it of course takes a while because Maya has to and Arnold has to collect all the information where these one million points sit and once we have it um, I can only recommend you to do the same thing with a mesh network and uh, there is a link in the description to that tutorial, a really nice tutorial where I basically did the same thing with the mesh network positioning one million cubes on a horse. In the renderings which I'll show you at the end of this tutorial there's one single light in the scene only. Uh, that light is in the center of our super shape. Uh, it's a point light and I used a camera animation which goes through that object with uh, I think it has 1500 cubes there and later you see renderings with 1 million cubes and depth of field and why did I show you all that because it gives us a very nice introduction to what the scattering is about there are much more complex ways to use that node but uh, this is the basic start have a nice day